something in the air There's talk of revolution here Up above the clouds Rainy eyes Always be prepared to see through everybody's lies Soon your future will appear There's nothing left for you to fear I stop to say a prayer for everybody there Your destination comes without a fear Oh now I saw you up and down the lane But I don't know your name All the places that you hide But if you save all the love you've ever made For what you gave away Destination comes without a fail. Oh, now what? Destination comes without a fail. Oh, now ride the storm. Let it take your weight, and she will guide you home. Above the cities and the towns, the people fly upon the ground. I stop to say a prayer for everybody there. Your destination comes without a fail. and down Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And yesterday Noel Gallagher dropped a new song and I really like it. I wasn't sure what to expect. It's kind of Oasis-y, kind of high-flying birds-y, kind of Beatles-y, kind of Bowie, Bowie. I don't know, I, but I really like the songwriting. It's like classic Noel Gallagher. And I thought I'd figure it out on the Noel Gallagher Gibson guitar. I'll try and keep this as concise as I can. I'll put the chords below. We have the key of... F minor, which means a capo. I like the G7 capos on the first fret, but I'm not going to do that today in case you don't have a capo. So what we've got here is E minor. There's like a pad at the start and then he comes straight in and he's singing the seventh note. So it's an E minor seven. Easy now. So easy now. He's probably playing that. I don't know exactly what he's playing. I haven't seen him play this live yet. But I'm just going to assume from previous songs and recordings that he's playing these kind of shapes that he does in Wonderwall, where he adds the little finger, the pinky, on the high E string on the, on the third fret, and the ring finger on the third fret on the B string, because he likes that sound. It's more interesting, and that's his kind of signature sound, isn't it? It's more interesting than... He likes to do... 
nice to have those top two strings kind of crying out. So let's leave those in. So we've got E7, I guess. So that's the first line. Easy now. Heavy is the head that wears a... So there's two bars of E minor 7. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Then he goes to B minor. One, two, three, four. Then straight to an F. I'm going to assume again it's an F major 7, because he likes major 7s based on previous recordings. I don't think I hear that though in the recording, but you can do either. You can either play an F bar chord, or an F major 7, or an F full, full F like this. But I'm going to do the F major 7, so B minor, 2, 3, 4 to F. A minor 7, or A minor, again, I'm putting the 7th in just because it makes it more interesting, but A minor 7 I'll put there. And then D, 1, 2, B sus 4, so the pinky on the 3rd fret, and then off again. And then right at the end, he does a D sus 2, so... So that's the first line of the verse. Now, this is the verse. There's only two sections in this song, really. The verse and the chorus, and the chorus is also the solo. But the first line of verse 1 is different to all the other verses. So if we get the other verses down, then it'll make it easier. But that line there is slightly different. All the other verses are the same. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, B minor. Minor seven. Now it goes to D, but now rather than D sus four, it goes to C add nine, and then back to D, and then back to C add nine, and then back to D for a bar, and then D seven, which takes us nicely into the chorus, the G. The This is quite a high song. I have to say, you know, Noel Gallagher has a, a good range. You, if you're going to sing this, you really want to rela be relaxed. Warm up, drink lots of water, get a good night's sleep and relax the body. Because straight away, his first note on this song is that D. And that's without the capo. Easy now. And it's on an E, so it's a little bit closed and thrown. It's, it's, it's easy to go, easy now. You know, don't do that. Like, relax and keep the throat open. Easy now. So let's just play through all that up to the chorus. So remember, the first one is slightly different, and then verse two will be the same as verse three. So once you've got verse two down, you're good for the rest of the song. We've just got to learn the next section, which is the chorus and the solo. And then it's a slightly different. The outro is based on this uh, D thing at the end. But we'll go over that at the very end. So let's go through what we've got so far, verse one and verse two. It's the very start of the song, this is 80 beats per minute, 80, 8, 0. There's like an organ pad in the video. And you see the start of the music video, and then he comes straight in. Easy now, heavy is the head that wears a hollow crown. Oh, try that again. Easy now, heavy is the head that wears a hollow crown. There must be something in the air There's talk of revolution here Up above the clouds So verse 2 Rainy eyes Always be prepared to see through everybody's lies Soon your future will appear There's nothing left for you to fear I stop to say a prayer for everybody there Your destination comes without a fail Oh, now I It's really nice. You see, I made a mistake because I went to the C. I'm so used to, to Noel doing songs like E minor to C or G. To, I don't think I've... There's not many songs of his that I've played where he goes to a B minor there. That's really nice. 
This really reminds me of a Beatles song, right? I can't think which one it is right now. If you know what it is, put it in the comments below. That's a Beatles song. And then the way he sings is very Beatlesy. And also that, I feel like a bit of David Bowie in there too, like... Um, the revolution, the word revolution. Let's talk of revolution here, here. Very 60s. I love it. I love this throwback kind of stuff. And, you know, excellent writing from Noel Gallagher. I'm a big fan, as you can tell. Noel Gallagher was the first guitarist that I was into. And this is the Noel Gallagher acoustic. I love it. Love this. I love playing these songs. And I love this new song. It's awesome. Let's go over the chorus. Sing oh, oh. So we're going to the major key. We've gone from the minor into the major. Oh, that F is also Mixolydian, which is very Beatles-y, and that's the, seventh, the dominant seventh, right? But now we're into the relative major. Ah, which really lifts things up. And then that high note as well. Ah, really, really, you know, anthemic chorus. Ah, saw you up and down the lane. So we've got a G with these two again ringing out to a C add nine. And then to an E minor. Again, I'll just leave those on there. I don't know. When he does a live performance, I want to see exactly how he plays it. This might be not exactly right, but I'm just going to guess this is how he's going to play it. Because <laughs> this song only came out yesterday. So G, C add 9, E minor 7, C add 9. And then back to G, down to your F, down to your E minor, to C add 9. And you do that again. So that's almost the chorus done. So again, the second line of the chorus will be that thing again. G. E minor 7. C add 9. G. F. E minor 7. C. And then the last line of the chorus is what we did at the end of the verse. D. C add 9. D. C add 9. D. 2. D7, 2, 3, 4. So, when you think of songs like that, it makes them really easy. Because when I first heard this, I thought there's a lot of chords here. But basically, if you learn the first line of the verse, then the other verses are the same, but with a slightly different ending. The chorus is one line and then repeated again. And then the end of the chorus is that line that we added on to the verse 2 earlier on. So, essentially, if you break it all down and think about it that way, there's not... There's not too much here, although it sounds like there's a lot when you listen to the recording. He's, he's singing a lot, there's a lot of changes it sounds like, but actually, it's not that bad. And then it goes into the solo straight after the chorus, which is cool. Really nice solo. And that'll be the same chords again, exactly the same. G, C, E minor, C, G, F, E minor, C, G, C, E minor, C, G, F, E minor, C. And then his voice comes back in, but with the same ending as before on the chorus. Da 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 He does the oh now at the end, which I really like. Oh now, ride the storm. Then we're into verse three, I guess this would be, right? Ride the storm. So this is the same chords as verse two. E minor seven, and again, to a B minor, F, A minor, or seven, to that ending D to C at nine, D to C at nine, D to D seven, back to your chorus, ah, la 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 la. It doesn't go to the D7 though. It just keeps looping around that. Da da da. Da 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 da. And it just keeps 
video I ran about eight times. And then the last time, D2, 3, 4, D7, 2, 3, and finish on your E minor. Or. 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 <laughs> if you want to get fancy. But yeah, it just loops around that. So. There sounds like there's a lot going on in this song when you first hear it, but actually a lot of the stuff is used again. There's only like three motifs really that are used. There's that verse, the verse chord progression, and then the chorus, and then the verse, the, that thing at the end of the verse where it goes from the D to the C to the D to the C, which is also the end of the chorus, and that's also the outro. So when you think about it like that, it's really not too bad. You've just got to remember exactly where those parts come in. I'll put the chart down below in the comments if I can or put it on the screen or something so you can freeze it and screenshot it. But you've just got to remember the structure. It's got to really think about it, like what's actually going on here. So I hope that was useful. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I do a lot of gear reviews. I do some lessons. Um, and I just really wanted to learn this song because I'm a big Noel Gallagher fan. I just wanted to teach it because I haven't seen any, any, any lessons up yet. So I hope that was useful and enjoy playing the song. And I can't wait to hear the full album either. Thank you, Noel, and see you soon.